It almost seems like there was some kind of megalithic carving school who could create the most perfect sphere. The vast expanse of our world is teeming with a myriad of perplexing phenomena that never cease to astonish us. There is an ever-growing wonder surrounding the most peculiar and mind-boggling discoveries that defy human comprehension. Over the years, our terrestrial explorations have led us to unravel the mysteries and revelations our collective consciousness could not fathom. Each revelation serves as a testament to the boundless wonders that lay hidden, waiting to be discovered. Through the tireless efforts of scientists, archaeologists, and historians, we are able to unearth extraordinary discoveries that continually push the boundaries of our understanding. Get ready as we delve into 20 most bizarre recent discoveries that will keep you scratching your head. Number 20. Stone Spheres of Costa Rica The Diquis Delta in southern Costa Rica is adorned with an array of colossal stone spheres, some of which can be traced back to as early as AD 600. Crafted predominantly from gabbro, a type of rock that originates from molten magma, these magnificent spheres were meticulously shaped into flawless spheres, a feat accomplished by the ancient craftsmen using smaller stones. These remarkable structures, affectionately referred to as Las Bolas or the Balls by the locals, are a testament to the artistic prowess of the pre-Columbian civilization that once inhabited the region. Expert archaeologists have conducted extensive research on these ancient rocks, shedding light on the techniques employed by the skilled individuals who created these awe-inspiring monuments. There has been much speculation among those who are not experts in the field regarding the purpose of the Diki spheres, also known as the Stone Spheres of Costa Rica. Some believe that these spherical stones were utilized for astronomical reasons, while others theorize that they may have served as markers, pointing toward important locations. However, the truth remains elusive, as no concrete evidence or definitive answer has been discovered. This historical enigma continues to baffle researchers as well as archaeologists and may potentially never be fully resolved. It is believed that the Chibchan people, who once inhabited Costa Rica and other parts of Central America, disappeared following the Spanish conquest, taking with them the knowledge and significance behind these enigmatic spheres. Number 19. The Giants of Mont Prama In a recent excavation at the burial grounds of Monte Prama in Sardinia, researchers have made a remarkable discovery. Unearthed from this ancient necropolis were statues of extraordinary nature, standing at an impressive seven feet tall. What makes these statues even more intriguing is their utterly expressionless and mysterious appearance. The faces of these colossal sculptures are eerie, with eyes deeply set in the back of their heads and blocky noses, yet somehow conveying a sense of weariness. Astonishingly, despite their age of nearly 3,000 years, dating back to around 850 BC, these statues remain in remarkably good condition. Initially, archaeologists believed the remains they unearthed belonged to a Carthaginian settlement dating back to 500 BC. However, further research revealed that the civilization inhabiting Monte Prama was far older, originating from a race of islanders who migrated to Sardinia around the 18th century BC. Unfortunately, these ancient people, known as the Nuragic civilization, have largely faded from historical memory. The Nuragic people left their mark on the island through the construction of megaliths, towering structures resembling solitary towers where one could imagine a wizard dwelling. Even today, over 6,000 of these solitary towers, called Nuragues, can be found scattered across Sardinia, although it is believed that many more existed in the past, now lost to time. Number 18. The Cochno Stone one particular stone that has sparked intrigue is the Cochno Stone, which was unearthed by archaeologists in Glasgow, Scotland in 2016. There seems to be a fascination surrounding these enigmatic stones that continue to captivate our attention. This remarkable wonder, dating back 5,000 years, measures an impressive 43 feet by 26 feet and is adorned with intricate swirling patterns known as cup and ring marks. Interestingly, Similar markings have been discovered in prehistoric sites across the globe, adding to the mystery and significance of this ancient artifact. To unravel the secrets of the Cochno Stone, Dr. Kenneth Brophy of the University of Glasgow and his team of dedicated researchers undertook a meticulous study of the rock. 
Their aim is to gain a deeper understanding of how prehistoric people may have utilized this monumental artifact. By examining the intricate cup and ring marks and analyzing the surrounding archaeological context, they hope to shed light on the ancient practices and beliefs that may be intertwined with this enigmatic stone. Brophy, an esteemed archaeologist and senior lecturer at the University of Glasgow, suggests that the Kokno stone may in fact be a remarkable example of ancient artwork. However, the true purpose and meaning behind these captivating patterns remain elusive. In the 1930s, researchers who delved into the stone's inscriptions hypothesized that they were connected to astronomical phenomena such as eclipses. However, Brophy challenges this theory and believes that there may be a different purpose that our prehistoric ancestors had in mind. The Kokno stone stands as a testament to the rich and complex history of human civilization. Its sheer size and intricate markings serve as a reminder of the ingenuity and artistic prowess of our ancestors. Number 17. Antikythera Mechanism Resembling something straight out of a captivating adventure film centered around hidden treasures, the discovery of the Antikythera Mechanism stands as a perplexing enigma in the realm of archaeology. Unearthed amidst the watery remains of a Greek cargo vessel that had long been submerged for over two millennia, this circular masterpiece crafted from bronze unravels a labyrinthine network of interlocking gears while bearing enigmatic symbols etched across its exposed surfaces. The Antikythera mechanism is a really old machine from ancient Greece. It was like a special calculator that people used to predict where the stars and the moon would be in the sky. They could even tell when there would be a special kind of shadow called an eclipse. The machine was also used to keep track of when the big sports games would happen, kind of like the Olympics. Initially believed to be a form of navigational astrolabe, the true purposes of this ancient marvel continue to unfurl as diligent archaeologists delve deeper into its mysteries, revealing that it served as an astonishingly intricate astronomical calendar, if nothing else. Undoubtedly, it holds the distinction of being the most advanced contraption ever encountered from this era, predating the emergence of similar devices by an astounding millennium. Number 16. A Tunnel to the Lost Tomb of Cleopatra Archaeologists in Egypt made an exciting discovery near the city of Alexandria. They uncovered a vast underground tunnel that could potentially lead to the long-lost tomb of one of Egypt's most renowned figures, Queen Cleopatra VII. This discovery has sparked great interest and speculation in the field of archaeology. As the excavation and exploration of the tunnel progresses, researchers are filled with both excitement and anticipation. They will meticulously comb through the tunnel, examining every nook and cranny in the hopes of uncovering clues that will lead them to the final resting place of this iconic queen. It is a race against time and a challenge that archaeologists are willing to undertake with utmost dedication and perseverance. According to reports from Egypt's Tourism and Antiquities Ministry, the tunnel stretches a remarkable 1.3 kilometers and is intricately carved into the rock beneath the ancient Taposiris Magna Temple. What makes this discovery even more extraordinary is the fact that the tunnel is situated more than 43 feet underground. The ministry has described this as a geometric miracle and believes that it could be the key to uncovering Cleopatra's final resting place. The prospect of locating Cleopatra's tomb has long been a dream for archaeologists, and this recent discovery could potentially bring them one step closer to solving this enduring mystery. The discovery of this underground tunnel not only holds the promise of unraveling Cleopatra's secrets, but also adds to the rich tapestry of Egypt's ancient history. Number 15. Vesuvius Scrolls In the ancient city of Herculaneum, there once stood a grand villa that was built around 2,000 years ago. Just like its sister city, Pompeii, Herculaneum was situated in the shadow of the mighty Mount Vesuvius. This magnificent home was situated overlooking the breathtaking Bay of Naples, providing its Roman residents with a spectacular view of the shimmering ocean. Judging by the size of the villa, it was evident that its inhabitants lived a life of luxury and comfort. The estate was enormous and even had its own impressive library, which housed the most important texts of that time. Due to the extensive collection of scrolls found within the villa, it was aptly named the Villa of the Papyri. 
Among these precious writings was a series of volumes penned by Philodibus, who happened to be one of the esteemed poet Virgil's instructors. Inside this library, a wide variety of scrolls written by the greatest philosophers in history were carefully preserved. Unfortunately, the people who resided in this opulent villa faced their downfall in the year 79 AD. When the volcano erupted, it unleashed its fury upon Pompeii, burying it in volcanic ash. Herculaneum experienced the same fate as the city was engulfed by clouds of smoke and ash. The once fantastic villa, along with its extensive library, was entombed under layers of debris. It was not until 1752 that excavations uncovered the remains of this residence, revealing its impressive collection of literature. Since the 18th century, archaeologists have painstakingly recovered 1,800 scrolls from this villa. These scrolls, although perfectly preserved, were almost illegible, as they had essentially turned into volcanic rock. However, reading these ancient writings has proven to be a challenge. Only recently have archaeologists acquired the necessary technology to decipher these ancient texts. Thanks to modern X-ray technology, archaeologists were able to unravel and understand these chunks of carbonized scrolls after two centuries. This feat is a testament to the contribution of technology in archaeology. Number 14. The Hobbits Have you watched the legendary movie Lord of the Rings? If you have, then the term hobbits would ring a bell. But we're not talking about Frodo Baggins here, we're talking about real hobbits. It is truly astonishing how certain scientific findings can be even more peculiar and extraordinary than what one might encounter in fictional stories. A striking example of this phenomenon is the unearthing of hobbits in 2003, which took place on the secluded Indonesian island of Flores. The initial discovery involved the remains of an adult female who was exceptionally small, measuring only 3.5 feet tall and estimated to be around 30 years old. At first, researchers considered the possibility that these small bones belonged to a human with microcephalia, a condition that results in a small head and short stature. However, further discoveries of similarly sized skeletons strongly suggested that the hobbit was not simply a miniature human, but rather a completely different species. Nevertheless, the exact place of H. floresiensis within the family tree of human ancestors remains a puzzle that scientists are still working hard to solve. Number 13. The Necropolis of Mare Archaeologists in Egypt recently made an astonishing and groundbreaking discovery at the Necropolis of Mare, situated in the city of El Kusia. Situated in the middle of nowhere, approximately 40 miles away from the city of Asut, the Necropolis of Mar, holds immense historical significance comparable to the renowned Saqqara. This necropolis served as a burial ground for provincial governors, known as No Marks, during the 6th and 12th dynasties of ancient Egypt. Interestingly, ancient Egypt comprised 40 different provinces, each governed by a No Mark. Hence, this cemetery not only represents the final resting place for these individuals, but also serves as a testament to the elaborate administrative system of ancient Egypt. The importance of Mare as a burial ground for prominent individuals, as well as its close association with neighboring cities, further deepens our understanding and appreciation of the rich and diverse heritage of ancient Egypt. Contrary to popular belief, ancient Egyptian society was characterized by a complex social hierarchy. The system of government in place during that time was remarkably advanced, with various levels of authority. Apart from the ruling king, there were governors, high priests, and mayors in every town. It was the mayors and other individuals in middle management roles who were interred in the deep tombs beneath the desert sands, preserving their memory for eternity. The buildings themselves were found in the upper section of the necropolis, while the burial sites were located in the lower section. These findings showcase the intellectual and cultural richness that flourished in Mer during ancient times. Number 12. Superhenge. Next on, we have Superhenge, a remarkable stone monument located just a mere two miles away from the renowned Stonehenge in the United Kingdom. This monumental structure, consisting of an assemblage of stone monoliths, was serendipitously discovered by archaeologists in 2015. Astonishingly, these monoliths were concealed beneath the Earth's surface, nestled beneath the grass-covered circular embankment known as Durrington Walls. Intriguingly, 
this colossal superhenge is believed to have been an integral component of an immense Neolithic monument, as suggested by diligent researchers. Although the original purpose behind these enigmatic stones remains shrouded in mystery, archaeologists speculate that the towering slabs, measuring 15 feet in height, once proudly stood upright, only to be toppled over approximately 4,500 years ago. Situated in close proximity to the Avon River, this colossal monument occupies a natural depression in the terrain, potentially playing a role in the formation of a C-shaped arena, where the convergence of springs and a valley seamlessly guided the way towards the flowing river. Superhenge presents itself as an awe-inspiring marvel, leaving us captivated by its sheer size and enigmatic nature. With each passing excavation and exploration, archaeologists inch closer to unraveling the secrets held within these ancient stones, offering us a glimpse into the distant past and the remarkable civilizations that once thrived in this mystical land. Number 11. Holy Jar A groundbreaking discovery has been made by archaeologists, who have recently unearthed a multitude of sacred artifacts, including various jars. However, what truly astonished the researchers was the unearthing of a jar that was riddled with holes, a phenomenon that had never been encountered before. This extraordinary artifact, originally found within a bomb crater near London in the aftermath of World War II, can be traced back to the era of Roman Britain, specifically the period of Roman rule from approximately AD 43 to 410. Presently, this enigmatic vessel is proudly displayed at the esteemed Museum of Ontario Archaeology in Canada. Intriguingly, experts in the field speculate that this peculiar jar may have served as a lamp or possibly operated as an unconventional animal cage, housing either mice or snakes. Nevertheless, it is important to note that these conjectures are merely educated assumptions, as confirmed by archaeologists themselves. The researchers eagerly await the arrival of an individual who has encountered a similarly holy jar or may possess invaluable knowledge regarding the purpose of this perplexing item. Number 10. Halley's Comet In the state of New Jersey, Susie Kopp, a resident of Hopewell Township, was simply minding her own business when an unexpected and extraordinary event occurred. Out of nowhere, a colossal rock, originating from outer space, forcefully crashed through her roof, causing significant damage. This rock, resembling a meteorite, forcefully burst through her shingles and astonishingly bounced off the floor as if it were a basketball. Miraculously, it then ricocheted off the ceiling before finally coming to a rest. The rock itself is a remarkable sight to behold. Its imposing size and dark coloration suggest that it may be a part of the most renowned meteorite in the entire universe. To investigate this extraordinary occurrence, Derek Pitts, the esteemed chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, was called upon. Upon analyzing the rock, Pitts proposed that it could potentially be a staggering 5 billion years old. Furthermore, he suggested that it might have originated from the ETA Aqua Rids meteor shower, a well-known annual event that takes place during the spring season. This meteor shower occurs when small particles expelled from the famous Halley's Comet descend upon the Earth's surface in a dazzling display. The sheer magnitude of the rock and the potential danger it posed as it crashed through the roof highlights the fortunate nature of Susie Kopp and her family's experience. Halley's Comet, known for its periodic appearances, last approached Earth in a visible manner in the year 1986. However, it is currently situated at its farthest point from our planet. Spectacularly, the next close encounter is not expected until the year 2061. Number 9. The Khat Shabib The Khat Shabib, a stone wall stretching 93 miles in Jordan, has perplexed archaeologists since its discovery in 1984. Despite its massive size, the purpose, builders, and date of construction of this enigmatic wall remain unknown. Archaeologists from the Aerial Archaeology in Jordan project propose that the Khat Shebib may have served as a boundary between ancient farmlands and the grazing pastures of nomadic farmers. Evidence of ancient agriculture found to the west of the wall supports this theory. By delineating territories, this mysterious structure could have helped prevent the encroachment of livestock onto cultivated fields. 
Running in a north-northeast to south-southwest direction, the Khat Shabib features sections where two walls run parallel to each other, as well as branches that deviate from the main structure. Although the wall now lies in ruins, it would have once stood at a height of approximately 3.3 feet and a width of merely 1.6 feet. This size suggests that the wall was not primarily built to defend against invading armies. Instead, it is possible that its purpose was to ward off less threatening adversaries, such as hungry goats. Despite numerous speculations, the true intention behind the construction of the Khat Shabib remains elusive. Researchers continue to study this intriguing wall, hoping to unravel its secrets and shed light on its significance in ancient Jordanian history. Number 8. The Big Circles In addition to the enigmatic Khat Shabib, there are other perplexing ancient structures scattered across Jordan that continue to baffle archaeologists. One of these structures, known as the Big Circles, has been discovered throughout the Jordanian countryside, dating back an astonishing 2,000 years. With a total of 11 circles identified thus far, these enigmatic formations have become a source of fascination for scientists seeking to unravel their secrets. Measuring an impressive 1,312 feet in diameter, the big circles stand only a few feet high, devoid of any openings that would allow passage for humans or animals. Consequently, experts have dismissed the possibility of these structures serving as ancient livestock corrals, leaving them to ponder over their true purpose. The mystery deepens as no definitive answer has yet been uncovered. Determined to shed light on this perplexing riddle, researchers have embarked on a comparative analysis, examining other circular stone structures throughout the Middle East. By scrutinizing these similar formations, they hope to gain insights and establish connections that might provide clues to unravel the enigma surrounding the big circles of Jordan. Number 7. Voynich Manuscript the Voynich Manuscript, an ancient text that remains a topic of great fascination, gained significant attention during the 20th century. Unreadable to all, this 250-page book was discovered in 1912 by an antique bookseller. Its mysterious contents include an unknown alphabet and a variety of illustrations, ranging from depictions of nude women to images of medicinal herbs and zodiac signs. Currently housed at Yale University's Bineca Rare Book and Manuscript Library, the Voynich Manuscript dates back approximately 600 years and is believed to have originated in Central Europe. Scholars have offered varying theories regarding the nature of this enigmatic book. While some argue that it is a hoax from the Renaissance era, consisting of unintelligible words, others believe that its text is written in an unidentified language. Additionally, there are those who speculate that the manuscript contains some form of yet-to-be-deciphered code. However, in February 2014, Stephen Bax, a professor of applied linguistics at the University of Bedfordshire in England, claimed to have made a breakthrough in understanding the Voynich manuscript. He asserted that he had successfully deciphered 14 of the manuscript's characters. Bax suggested that the book is likely a treatise on nature, written in a language from either the Near East or Asia. Number 6. King Tut's Death There are few archaeological enigmas that generate as much fascination as the perplexing mummy of the young Egyptian pharaoh, Tutankhamun. Back in 1922, British Egyptologist Howard Carter unearthed the tomb of King Tut. And ever since, tales of a deadly pharaoh's curse haunting anyone who dares to approach the tomb, have circulated widely. However, the actual mysteries surrounding King Tut's tomb are far more captivating than any curse could ever be. Scholars in the field speculate that the boy king met an unexpected demise, possibly due to an infection or injury sustained in a chariot mishap. This untimely death may shed light on the peculiar state in which his mummified body was discovered. Remarkably, it appears that King Tut's remains caught fire subsequent to the mummification process and the sealing of his tomb. The hurried nature of the burial likely contributed to the botched embalming procedure that led to the fire. However, this rushed interment also gives rise to another enigma. There exists the possibility that King Tut's tomb was originally constructed for someone else entirely raising the intriguing prospect of other undiscovered mummies concealed within the same funerary complex. Experts who have meticulously examined the mummy 
proposed that the linen wrappings, saturated with flammable embalming oils, could have interacted with oxygen in the atmosphere, setting off a chain reaction that engulfed the pharaoh's corpse in flames, effectively cooking it at temperatures reaching approximately 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the fascinating land of Sardinia, a remarkable discovery has recently captivated both locals and archaeologists alike, the unearthing of colossal giants. These magnificent beings, estimated to have slumbered beneath the Earth's surface for a staggering 3,000 years, have left the world in awe. However, their significance extends beyond their impressive age, as they are believed to hold a mystical purpose, serving as guiding forces for the inhabitants of Sardinia and its surrounding regions. What truly piques curiosity is that some inhabitants hold the belief that these towering figures serve as guardians, diligently overseeing the souls of the departed. This intriguing connection between the giants and the spiritual realm adds an ethereal and mystical dimension to this extraordinary archaeological find. The sheer magnitude and intricacy of these unearthed giants have sparked endless debates and fueled imaginations, leaving no shortage of theories and hypotheses to explore. What do you think of these 3,000-year-old giants and the speculations surrounding their existence? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Number 5. Gobekli Tepe Humans began to establish permanent towns and engage in farming before constructing temples, according to the traditional understanding. However, a groundbreaking archaeological discovery at Gobekli Tepe in 1994 has challenged this belief, raising intriguing questions about the development of civilization. Gobekli Tepe, situated in a rural region of Turkey, unveiled a remarkable site that features multiple rings of massive stone pillars adorned with intricate animal carvings. These relics, dating back to the 10th millennium BC, are recognized as the oldest known place of worship in the world. Surprisingly, the evidence indicates that the individuals responsible for constructing this monumental structure were semi-nomadic hunters, lacking any knowledge of agriculture. It was only five centuries later that farming practices emerged in the area. This revelation forces archaeologists to reconsider the chronological order of events. Rather than settlement preceding elaborate construction projects like Gobekli Tepe, it is now necessary to explore the possibility that such architectural endeavors could have actually led to the establishment of permanent communities, contrary to the established belief. Number 4. Shroud of Turin The Shroud of Turin, a piece of twill cloth that bears the mysterious imprint of a man's body, is a subject of intense debate among archaeologists. Many believe that this shroud is the very burial cloth of Jesus Christ himself. Its existence was officially recorded by the Catholic Church in A.D. 1353, when it appeared in a church in Lyre, France. However, the legend surrounding the shroud dates back even further, to around A.D. 30 or 33. According to this legend, the shroud was originally transported from Judea to Edessa, Turkey, and later to Constantinople, now known as Istanbul. When the city was sacked by crusaders in A.D. 1204, the cloth was moved yet again, this time to Athens, Greece, where it was said to have been kept until A.D. 1225. The ongoing debate surrounding the authenticity of the Shroud of Turin continues to captivate and divide scholars, historians, and believers alike. Despite the radiocarbon dating results suggesting a medieval origin, Many still hold steadfast in their belief that this ancient cloth is indeed the sacred burial shroud of Jesus Christ. It was not until the 1980s that researchers were finally able to examine the shroud and attempt to determine its true age. Through the use of radiocarbon dating, they found that the shroud was created between A.D. 1260 and A.D. 1390, placing it firmly within the medieval period. These findings led the scientists to conclude that the shroud was likely a forgery, created long after Jesus' death. However, critics of this research argue that the scientists may have inadvertently dated newer sections of the shroud that were added and stitched together centuries after Jesus' time, thus giving the false impression of a more recent origin. Only further scientific investigation and analysis may provide a definitive answer to the enigma that surrounds this controversial artifact. 
Number 3. The Copper Scroll Treasure One intriguing archaeological enigma that has yet to be solved revolves around the discovery of an ancient copper scroll at the Qumran site in 1952. This scroll, found alongside the renowned Dead Sea Scrolls in the West Bank, holds the potential to unveil a vast amount of concealed gold and silver. The Copper Scroll, dating back almost two millennia, transports us to a time when the Roman Empire exerted control over the Qumran settlement. It is believed by researchers that the scroll could reveal the secrets of a hidden treasure, cunningly concealed by local inhabitants to safeguard it from falling into the hands of the relentless Roman forces during the tumultuous revolts that frequently swept through the region. However, the whereabouts of this treasure remain unknown, and there is even uncertainty as to whether it truly exists. While the enigmatic Copper Scroll provides a glimmer of hope, it also shrouds the truth in an air of secrecy. Its ancient origins and the passage of time have conspired to cloud its message, leaving modern-day investigators to grapple with the challenge of unraveling the scroll's cryptic language and decoding its intricate instructions. This historical mystery continues to captivate the imagination of both archaeologists and treasure hunters alike as they endeavor to decipher the cryptic clues and unravel the riddle of the Copper Scroll. The tantalizing prospect of unlocking the whereabouts of this potential fortune fuels a relentless pursuit for answers, drawing upon a wealth of expertise, technology, and unwavering determination. The potential discovery of this hidden treasure would not only offer a tangible link to the past, but also provide a fascinating insight into the lives and struggles of those who sought to defy the mighty Roman Empire. The allure of unearthing such a significant historical artifact imbued with immense wealth is enough to ignite the imagination, prompting a relentless pursuit of this elusive truth. Number 2. Ancient Animal Traps Archaeologists have been perplexed by the presence of low stone walls crisscrossing the deserts of Israel, Egypt, and Jordan ever since they were first spotted by pilots in the early 20th century. These walls date back to 300 BC but have long been abandoned. The walls stretch for up to 40 miles and have been dubbed kites due to their aerial appearance. However, a recent study has shed some light on this enigma, proposing that the purpose of these kites was to guide wild animals towards a small pit where they could be easily hunted and killed in large quantities. This highly efficient system indicates that local hunters possessed a deep understanding of the behavior of the native fauna, surpassing previous assumptions. Number 1. Chinshur Huang's Tomb Lastly on this list, we're going back to 1974 when a remarkable discovery took place in China's Shanxi province when farmers accidentally stumbled upon the incredible terracotta army of Emperor Chinshur Huang. This extraordinary find, considered one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, consisted of life-size clay figures intricately carved to serve as a defense for the emperor in the afterlife. Despite our historical understanding of the purpose behind these figures, the exact location of the emperor's burial site and the potential treasures within his burial chamber remain shrouded in mystery. Adjacent to where the terracotta army was unearthed, lies a pyramid-shaped mausoleum, yet no one has yet been able to enter and explore the resting place of Qin Shi Huang. Described in ancient texts as the most lavish tomb ever constructed in China, this mausoleum features an underground palace and a surrounding kingdom, with a complex network of caves and a state-of-the-art drainage system. However, the possibility of archaeologists being able to safely excavate the tomb, which is known to contain dangerously high levels of mercury, remains uncertain. Thus, the treasures that lie hidden within this grand tomb and the technological advancements needed to uncover them continue to elude us, leaving us captivated by the enigma that surrounds Emperor Qin Shi Huang's final resting place. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.